Hello, Loveland Magazine viewers. Cassie Mattia here, and I am here with Jerry Ernst. Correct. The man, the myth, the legend right here. He is a part of Cincinnati Pickleball, and today, guess what? We're going to play some pickleball. But before we get into all that, I just want to let you guys know, yes, I'm an athlete. I don't know anything about this sport, so this is going to be awesome. Jerry's going to help me through it all. It's going to be a good time because a lot of people don't know about this sport, right, Jerry? Um, started in 1965, Bainbridge Island, uh, just a short ferry ride from Seattle, Washington. Three dads got together and they're like, listen, we need something else. Our kids are bored. We don't want the same old summer activities. Here you go. Pickleball, right? So it's badminton, tennis, and ping pong all into one. So Jerry, you know your stuff. Tell us a little bit about the history of pickleball. Okay. Well, like you said, it started out in Washington. Uh, I learned the game myself about seven years ago down in Florida. It uh, seemed it was in the warmer climates for a long right. time, but it's, it's, it's really generated into all parts of the country, especially up here in Cincinnati. So not only do we play outdoor during the summer, we do play indoor during the winter. Okay. Um, you basically play it with a paddle and a wiffle ball. Um, the outdoor balls have about 40 holes in the outdoor balls because of the wind. It helps with wind that they don't blow as hard. And the indoor, indoor balls have about 26 holes. Uh, so you don't need it, as many holes for indoor than you do it for outdoor. Um, you, a game is played normally two people against the other two people on the other side. And you play a game to 11. You have to win by two. And uh, when you start the game, there's only one server to start the game. This is where it gets confusing. The scoring gets confusing for, for a new player. But, <laughs> but when you serve, you always have to serve at an angle to the opposite court. Um, so you play the game to 11, but when you start the game, you'll, you have to have only one server. So automatically, everybody gets to serve twice. Okay. But when you start the game, that person only gets to serve once. Gotcha. So you automatically, you're already the second server. Okay. So when you, when you say it, you always have to say your score. So it would be zero, zero. Right. And uh, starting the game, you would be number two server already. Okay. Okay. So gotcha. we serve until we fault. And you just switch back and forth if you keep scoring until you fault. And then the play would go on the other side. There's a double bounce rule in this game that when we serve, the ball has to bounce on the other court, and then when they return it, it has to bounce in our court. Okay. Anytime thereafter, you can take it out of the air, which is called a volley. You can volley the ball out of the air after the bounce, they call it the bounce bounce rule. Okay. So it has to bounce once over there and bounce once here. Then we can either take it off a of bounce or we can take it out of the air. Okay, gotcha, okay? gotcha. And the game, you start back here, but you try to move forward that we're across each other on the net. Um, in this court, it's the yellow lines that are the actual pickleball court. Mm -hmm. Because most pickleball courts are dual purpose. In Loveland, we have dual purpose courts where they can be used for tennis and or pickleball. So it gets uh, two sports that can enjoy the uh, what Loveland has to offer for everyone. So, But when you move up to that yellow line up here, okay. um, when you hit small little bumps over top the net, those right. are, those are called dinks. Dinks. Okay. Dinks. Okay. And but you it, you can't win from back here. You have to get up here to the kitchen line. Okay. That's gotcha. where the game is won. Okay. So um, as we you know you try to keep the ball down because if you put it up, someone's going to smash you. Oof! We don't want that. But we don't want that at all. These these yellow lines that go across okay. are called. It was referred to as the kitchen lines. Okay. But. That area between that yellow line and the net is called the non-volley zone. And meaning a volley is out of the air. So if you step in there and hit a ball out of the air, that's a fault. You have to keep your feet behind the line. Okay. But you can step in there. If it bounces, you can get in there and just hit it back. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So we try to keep the ball down. Okay. And uh, so that's how the play until someone makes a mistake and then the uh, the scoring goes so you just score back here okay we, so it's zero zero you're already the second server when we start the game okay okay yeah so and as long as we keep scoring we switch 
you would be over there serving, I would be over here. Right, right. And then it would be one, zero, two. You always okay. say your score first, you say your opponent's score second. Okay. okay. And you play to? Eleven. Eleven. And, okay. win by, and win by two. Okay. Now, the elements. I, I want to kind of tell the people why all those three sports are incorporated. Can you tell me about what elements from each sport, so like tennis, badminton, ping pong, what elements have they taken from each one to make pickleball? Obviously, I see the paddle here, the badminton ball, right? So what, what elements of, I, I kind of see ping pong, is that the net, it being lower, or how, how is? Well, ping pong, I think you only you only score when you're serving in ping pong. Okay, gotcha. Same way here, you only score when you're serving. Okay, beautiful. And uh, the size of the cord wow. is about the size of a bad mitten cord. Okay, that it's, makes sense. So it's smaller, this this cord is actually 20 feet wide, and it's 44 foot long. So okay. Which is about the size of a bad mitten cord. Okay. And. Uh, and the reason why they made that non-volley zone is to protect people because this game really started for older people and it's really come down. There's so many younger people playing this yeah, game now. Yeah. So they didn't want people stepping in there and just smashing somebody and, right. and just drilling them. So that's why you have to stay. They, they refer to it as stay out. That's been referred to. The non-volley area is, is referred to as the kitchen. Okay. Stay out of the kitchen. Stay out of the kitchen. I like that. I like so, that. Um, but that's one of the ways to protect people from getting hurt. Okay, that I mean, makes they, sense. They sting when they hit you, Yeah. but it, you know they're not gonna hurt you. Right, not like a baseball or something right, like that. Right, exactly. Now, Jerry, I do wanna touch on your background. So tell our viewers a little bit about your background with pickleball. Obviously you do the Cincinnati, is it Cincinnati Pickleball Club? Yes, Tell it us is. a little bit about your history. I wanna know all about you so that people can hook up with you and get some instruction maybe. Yes, I actually do instruct. I'm a teacher now. Awesome. Um, I learned the game in Florida about seven years ago. Okay. And my brother-in-law introduced me to it when I visited down there. And he said, do I have a game for you? <laughs> and I, I've actually, I'm really hooked on it. Um, I got back and I really made myself a student of the game. Right. I watched, there's just unbelievable amount of videos out there on pickleballs, um, training, drills. Right. And that's the big thing. You just have to drill in this game to get better, like any sport. You, okay. have, you have to play at it. Um, when I came back from Florida, there was only two places to play. You could play in Madeira or up in Middletown. And what year was this now? This was probably nine, let's see, I was, it's seven years ago, and I'll be 71 okay. next month. Okay. So I was about 64. Okay. So, um, the late, what is that, seven? Hey, we got it. Seven years ago, do the math, people. We're not doing it. <laughs> We're waiting for the score to do that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, that's where I, I learned it. And then uh, once I made myself a student, it took me a couple years of playing to where I really felt proficient. Right. That I, and I saw a lot of people still making big mistakes. So I tried to help people by, everybody wants to bang the ball. Yeah, They want to hit it hard. And there's a time to hit it hard and there's a time to hit it soft. And that's what I teach, okay. is how to control your shots and try to do what's going to help you most in your game to get more proficient at it. Okay, that so, makes sense. But after, you know, I've been doing that for several years. I got pickleball introduced into Loveland um, first at Lever Park, which okay. is a few miles from here. Okay. And then this court here is McCoy. It's been up here about three years now. Right, right. So, but it's, the sport has grown, I mean, Montgomery's got it, Wyoming's got it, Cincinnati has it. Right. I mean, uh, there's courts all over the place now. And I saw international. He's yes. getting some international recognition now. Yeah, their, their hopes are, I think it has to be in 85 countries before it can be into the Olympics. Ooh, and I now would, that's exciting. Yeah, I would like to see it, and I think it will come. And maybe you could have, um, you know, uh, in the Olympics, you're kind of retired at a certain age with this. There could be individuals that may be in their 60s that could compete in the Olympics with oh. this, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Which, you know, with running, you can't necessarily do that. <laughs> and, and a lot of, you know, I, I played in several tournaments. Right. And they have age groups in, in tournaments. Beautiful, yeah. And uh, in, in this one, I was just back in this one in May, which okay. was, they have the U.S. Open, they call it. Oh, wow. And it swings through different states within the United States. And it came back through May, and I was in a 60 and over uh, tournament with a with my partner and there's different levels three okay. three point fives and the four o's are pretty good players okay the best players are the five point o's right right um 
but I won silver in that in, back in May. Wow. I won silver. That's awesome. So I, um, yeah, it's I'm just exciting sport. It yeah. really is, and I, you know, I I'm a real proponent. Even my license plates on my car it says pickleball. Dang. So um, when I get into something, I get into it 110%. Yeah, you give 110%. I love that. In saying that, I mean, I think it's time that we uh, show off a little bit, let Jerry do his thing. We'll go ahead and play a little bit, and then we'll be back right with you in a little bit, guys. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we are. 